Over three weeks ago, 44 U.S. Army engineers serving with the 902nd Engineer Company supporting the Joint Forces Command United Assistance began the first U.S. Army-led construction of an Ebola treatment unit, also known as an ETU, in Buchanan. It started out with a few nails and plies of wood to an almost complete ETU in less than 30 days, according to technical engineer specialist Cody Robinson. Everything we've done out here, they, they expected a lot longer than we've actually had. So between waiting on our supplies out here, us being the best engineers out here, we've literally built ground up as fast as possible, faster than any ETU out here. In different areas of Liberia, service members have different living conditions. But life is different for these soldiers, as explained by U.S. Army Sergeant First Class John Teodoro. The living conditions here, uh, we try to take full advantage of all the rain. Uh, we collect water, uh, as you can see, with the troughs and buckets that we are provided here. And we take advantage as well as the heat. So when, once you wash it, we, we put up on these tents, put out some 550 cord, and uh, dry the, our ACU, socks, whatever we got. Little did anyone know, they were dealing with the best of the best, as told by Staff Sergeant Alfred Hames. This is, this is what engineers do. This is what we train for. This is accumulation of all our skills, our tasks, uh, all the months and years uh, sometimes of training. This is what we live for. This is our Super Bowl. This is our World Series. This is what engineers do. Reporting from Buchanan, Liberia, I'm U.S. Army Sergeant Zila Winstead.